All right, quick lesson in how to remove a wrist pin from a small box Chevy piston. Uh, let me grab one here. This is the piston. There's a pin that goes through it right here. This is the uh, piston rod and it hinges on this pin. To get the piston off the rod, you have to pull this wrist pin out. The way you do that is you put a threaded rod through it, you lock one end of it so that it will not turn. And then you put a washer on here that's the size of the pin that will pass through the piston. And then I put an extra big washer on, big uh, nut on here just for extra spacer. And then I've got a, another nut on the other end of this. And by turning that nut, I am slowly pulling that pin out. Now a little oil on your threads and stuff like that is not a bad idea here. Something just broke. I'm not sure what. But it's still coming. Maybe that was the wrist pin breaking. I don't know. I mean breaking the breaking this hole. I know one thing, a, a glove would feel good on my hand. It was a pretty hard push there. At a certain point here, this is going to push my wrench that's holding this off. I may have to come out here and grab it with something else, or maybe put a couple more nuts out here and lock them and hold it out here. We'll see what happens. You can see now the whole thing turns. So let me uh, find me two more nuts to fit that that I can lock together out here on the end and hold it out there. So I've added a couple nuts out on the end of this so that I can lock these two together. That'll give you something to hold that won't turn. The way you lock these nuts together is you turn one in one direction and turn the other in the other direction and they lock to each other. And once they do that, they won't turn so I can put a, like a wrench like this on here and literally let it rest against the, the vise there. Now when I turn this other one, instead of that turning, it'll draw it on through the shaft. So we we'll keep going. Now I'll give you a little view from up here and you can see the shaft has come through here now. You can see where it's coming into the piston part now. I can loosen this up out here. And I suppose I could keep going and take that the rest of the way out. You know, the advantage of having it out is I might use it as part of the motor mount I'm making. I think I'll do that. Just keep going until it goes comes out the rest of the way. Move my rod pin and my wrist pin. I mean my rod and my wrist pin is here. Got one more to do. I think I'm gonna cut this one off out here somewhere. It's a really good tool and I'd like to use it again, but it's a lot easier to use if it's a goodly bit shorter. So I think I'm gonna get my grinder and just snip it right there. Make it a lot easier to work with from here. Oh, enjoy.